Hey YouTubers, once again, this is a video response to SoCal Prepper um, about the uh, range bags. And I guess I'd show my bag that I got. I got this at a thrift store. I think I paid $3 for it, which seems like a lot from a thrift store. <laughs> but I thought it was a perfect bag for that. It's real durable, got a little tear in it, so what. Um, nice thick canvas. And what I keep in this uh, range bag is uh, keep my handgun, which is an XD 40 cal. That's my handgun of choice. It's very easy to uh, to clean and to keep in good working order. Keep my uh, ear protection, very good to have. I found these uh, really nice clear bags. Um, I think I got them at Walmart in the uh, the women's cosmetic department, believe it or not. Um, that's where the uh, the line is for getting prescriptions and stuff. And I was standing in line and I saw these and I was thinking, wow, that'd be a great bag for ammo. I mean, I can clearly see that this is for my handgun and this is for my uh, guide gun, which they call in Alaska a guide gun. It's a 4570. We've got different rounds in there for uh, different needs, so I keep a variety going. Um, keep my ammo for my pellet gun, which I love to use. That is the best gun. When I'm camping, that keeps me in good practice. It's cheap to use, and it is, this gun is so accurate, it's unbelievable. And I have a really good time with the kids with that, shooting uh, plinking cans and just having fun, trying, trying not to get bit by too many mosquitoes while, while we're doing that. I keep an extra clip for the uh, 40. Always have some eye protection along. Usually I wear sunglasses when we're out camping if it's sunny that day. Um, I just wear sunglasses, but I keep an extra pair of these along just in case. I got some cleaning supplies in here that I always have. Uh, some oil, some cleaning pads and such. And then while we're on the topic of bags, um, one thing that I, that I always do when I come across a deal, when I'm in a store and I see like this bag right here I got for I think it was like four bucks. And then inside, I'm a bagaholic. I bought this, or no, I found this on the ground near a school. We live near a school, and uh, I think some kid dropped this, and it was just had some bubble gum and some sticky shit that I cleaned out. I did some stitching along here with some uh, braided uh, spider wire, fishing line, really strong stuff. And that's a good bag. Uh, another bag. This one I bought a, a while ago for, I think, three bucks at another thrift store. Here we go again, nice leather bottom. This is a really great bag to use, I love them. And the reason I keep all these bags, this is a good fishing bag, uh, keep all my, my salmon fishing gear in here and if I'm doing some grayling or trout, I'll swap it out. So you can see there's tons of lures in there, I gotta clean it out from last season. Um, but the reason I, I buy all these bags is that if there's ever a situation where you wanna just grab a bunch of gear and throw it in a bag, what a better thing to have than this, you know? Some people, I guess if they were leaving the house in a hurry, you know, earthquake scenario, or we've even got volcanoes here, so that could be a, a situation. Um, so to have a bag like this to grab and go, you know, you, you can't go wrong, you know? Put, put one of these on one kid, one on another, you know? The kids can help carry stuff. You know, I keep a, a van parked right next to the shop, so just in case, you know, I got something to jump in and go, and, uh, why not have some bags, you know, run through the house and grab some things and throw them in the bag and, and off you go. So, um, when it comes to guns, this is my gun of choice here in Alaska. This is a uh, 4570. This is, this is a monster. I found this uh, belt. It was just a, a cheap belt in a thrift store that I put some stitching with the uh, braided wire. So that's strong as can be. I like the canvas feel better than that ballistic nylon. You know, if you're if you got a cut-off shirt or a, you know what do they call a wife beater uh, t-shirt and your shoulders are bare, um, this isn't going to hurt. It's going to feel nice on your shoulder if you're walking all day. Um, this is a gun that it's utilitarian. It's it's meant for keeping on your shoulder, get comfortable with, and have it with you all the time in the summertime. Uh, especially in some of the places I go fishing, I could be fishing all day within maybe a hundred yards of a couple of brown bears and you don't want to tangle with them. So anywho, uh, that's my uh, bag that I use for, for the range, which I don't go too much. Uh, usually we just pull off on the side of the road and, and shoot out of the van. <laughs> kind of redneck I know, but it's Alaska. Give me a break. 
All right, so uh, that's for SoCal Prepper. I like your videos, by the way, dude. Um, nice to make your acquaintance, and uh, be well.